there, it's Mr. Williams, and um, I guess I'm doing my first video reflection for the week that was. Um, I'm going to start doing this a little bit more this year. Uh, in the past, what I've done on my website is I've put up a blog post, I actually sat down, spent about an hour typing out and reflecting about everything that happened that week, uh, the stuff that we did in the classroom, things that went well, things that didn't go well. It, it was a little time consuming. So I think what I'm going to do uh, for this school year is uh, every now and then, if not the majority of the time, actually put up some video reflections of just me discussing how the, the week went, um, different uh, um, practices or different uh, uh, activities we did inside the classroom, and just uh, my thoughts on how things went and maybe what we need to do differently or uh, um, how we're going to keep the course and just keep driving on. Um, First full week of school, and it was a grind, all right? Uh, students were having to start practice for the very first full week of practice. At the same time, it was the very first full week of school, and it was daunting for a lot of them. Uh, we got to Wednesday, and a lot of students were already uh, dragging big time. Uh, a lot of staff was already dragging big time, I think, too. Big time shift for everybody. Uh, but it was a good week, and I'd have to say that the majority of the students, besides a few squirrely bunches on Friday, uh, did a good job staying focused and pushing through the entire time. Um, we spent the first week uh, setting a lot of foundational uh, items, okay, stuff to build on for the future, so uh, for the school year. So we went over all the rules and expectations, we covered lab safety, and we got to crack in a little bit on some of the iPads um, and all the different things that we can do with the iPads inside of this classroom. It, it seems like we've covered a lot of information, but at the same point in time, we're three days into the school year, four days if you're a Purple Day, and it's like we've barely scratched the surface of what we need to cover in Unit 1. Tons of info already, and yet for Unit 1, we've still got a lot to go. Um, I have to say that the, the first three days for Purple and White Days, and on Friday, the fourth day for Purple Days, it, it went pretty well. Went pretty good. Um, students are starting to bust out of their shell a little bit. Uh, the new schedule is is uh, is definitely something that uh, we're all going to have to accommodate ourselves to as well. Because even though it's just shortened by a little bit, it it makes a big difference for sure. Um, and just how the general instruction goes throughout the classroom and how kids uh, kids apply themselves and 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 um, can uh, maneuver themselves through the class time. Uh, we also spent this first week modeling. Um, we modeled a few different things. Uh, I tried to model how a unit will be set up and how we will progress through a unit inside this classroom, um, discussing how formative assessments will pop up from time to time and summatives will typically take place at the end. So we treated um, the rules and expectations lesson, the very first day of school, uh, we treated it and the next day, the second day, reviewing of it and testing it summatively, kind of like a mini unit. Uh, and talked about how uh, those two days, uh, you could elongate those over the course of a month or five or six weeks, and that's how a unit would look like. So we kind of modeled uh, on a small scale uh, what a unit would be like inside this classroom. Hopefully the students kind of got a good idea of what to expect and what's to come. I think we did. Everybody at least shook their heads and shared some verbal answers of, yes, yes, I, this makes sense. So uh, we'll, go, we'll go with yes, yes, that uh, we, think, we think we're... Uh, we're on par there. Um, and then we also modeled some conversational pieces. So uh, a lot of time inside the science classroom, there can be a lot of um, apprehension, uh, a lot of uh, hesitancy. Students cannot want to necessarily share what's on their mind or what they think because they may be embarrassed if it comes out of their mouth wrong or if it's wrong, per se. Um, so we got together and we did a couple different conversation activities, discussion activities. Uh, a basic Q&A where students would answer a few questions and then they would kind of interview each other. Um, and uh, the interview wasn't just providing the answer. That person that was getting the answer had to process the information and then respond, either asking another question or providing some feedback for the initial answer. And then the uh, initial answer -er would then respond back with an answer to the question or um, uh, another response to the um, initial comment. Um, we also did one where we had the students get together and it was more of a concept review so the students had gone home, um, reviewed some of the basic material from the previous day's lesson, and then they taught each other, took turns teaching each other over a set amount of time the basics um, that we needed to review for that lesson, so that content. So again, kind of modeling how uh, in the future 
we're going to get together and students will discuss some of this material because once you start discussing it then you're trying to put it into terms to where somebody else can learn it and that's the basics of teaching and if you can teach this stuff to each other boom you've got it learned we're golden there um, it's kind of what we did this first week I guess what's on the horizon for this next week is we're going to start getting into a lot of content finally um, we're going to want to move this through at a pretty good pace. Uh, we may dial it back and really pull back the reins here by the end of this week because we still need to really grind out some of the basics of, of how we're going to apply ourselves inside of this classroom um, and how we need to be prepared and approach this class every single day and every single week. Um, but we're going to try to go at a breakneck pace. Um, we've got a lot of stuff loaded on the website. going to guide you through that here in a second. Um, just for your benefit there so you know where everything may be uh, you the viewer parent and or student or just common community member whatever um, but we're gonna get into a lot of the content we started doing that on Friday with our purple day classes we will finish doing that on Monday with our white day classes and then we'll really crank it up here Tuesday through Friday the rest of next week uh, so we're going to get into basic scientific practices, scientific process, scientific investigations, and we're going to start designing and actually building a scientific investigation. For the freshmen, it's going to deal with the popping of popcorn, and for our sophomore students, biology students, it's going to deal with what we call Wisconsin fast plants. Uh, again, loads of video online for you there. Let me show you a little bit. Got the homework reminders updated. Also emailed students homework reminders for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. But if you were to go to uh, the Unit 1 page for the uh, Intro to Science in Mr. Williams' class for freshmen, we've got our major concepts still available at the top. And uh, right down here, we've got about five videos, four videos, excuse me, and one document linked. So a general video covering what is science, another video covering the classic practices of observation and inference, muy importante, um, another video uh, describing scientific investigations and scientific practices. That's the one that uh, we had watched and started watching on Friday in class to talk about video watching 101 and we'll continue to do on Monday with the White Day kids to introduce how to watch and gather information from the videos. And then an experimental design and scientific modeling video. Um, those three videos in addition to the what is science video or what is biology video if you're a biology student, uh, huge 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 going forward here over the next week to two to three weeks um, that does it for this little video recap uh, hopefully I'm around 10 minutes I'm gonna try to get it all out in about 10 minutes each time uh, but you can see if uh, following me and watching this video and listening to my rambling how um, trying to take all this and put it into uh, uh, words on a blog post every now and then can be a little a little time consuming so that's all I've got. Uh, that's what we have been doing, and that is where we are going. Thank you for checking this first video reflection out, and hopefully I can uh, start to refine this and tweak this and get this to be a little bit shorter, maybe a little more concise as the year goes on. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, any comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, or ideas, please feel free to contact me at kwilliams at usd115.org or tweet me at Williams underscore NVHS. Thanks a lot.